Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Verdi. I am a self-taught nail enthusiast and small business owner. On my channel, you'll see a lot of DIY videos, some product reviews and nail hauls as well. So if this is of interest to you, definitely subscribe. Today's video is going to be a product review video. I'm reviewing Savillon's acrylic powder liquid set and their color liquid monomer set. I feel that this video may be a bit of a rant, but everything that I'm going to say is honest and could be very beneficial if you are a tech, a licensed tech, or if you do your own nails. One of the issues in, one of the issues that I've come across or one of the things that I've experienced is when you're beginning, a lot of people say, oh, buy cheaper products just to practice with. And for me, in my experience, I feel like I learned a little bit slower with cheaper products, but I still wanted to check out these products. They are um, a little less expensive just to see the quality of the products and see if it was something that I could recommend. So this liquid powder set, it's a very small set. You only get one ounce of monomer and you get three small um, 10 milliliter jars of acrylic. But it's a good starting point to see like if you really want to purchase more of this system. The first thing that I noticed was the monomer had the worst smell. It smelled like monomer, but there was like a hint of something else in it. So it just smelled really, really bad. So I decided, okay, I'm going to swatch all these colors and then at the end, I'm going to soak off and just see how this product soaks off. So here you see me doing the swatches of the three different colors and I'm not even going to tell you what colors come in the kit. I'm not leaving a link for anything down below. If you want to go on Amazon and search Savillan acrylic powder, you're going to see this um, because that's literally what I searched. So my motivation for the color acrylic liquid monomer set that I received is I wanted to test the color monomer, see how it performed, and I was also doing a little bit of research on color monomer. It's not something that's very um, prevalent in the community. I, I know that Young Nails does use liquid nail art to change the color of their monomer. Also, I did see a video, um, a very a good video from Susie Nail Career Education as far as that trend of people putting gel polish in their monomer and how, you know, that gel polish still at some point needs to cure and all the chemicals and stuff like that. If you want to hear what she has to say, definitely check out her video. But, you know, there's not much color monomer on the market, so I just kind of wanted to play with it. So going back a little bit about new nail techs and then wanting to work with things that are less expensive or people that are DIY wanting to work with things that are less expensive. In my experience doing that, I learned a lot slower. So for me, if I'm only doing my nails, just my nails, I feel it's okay to invest a little bit more in my products because I'm only using it on myself and it's going to last a little bit longer. The, the other thing about that too is the integrity of the ingredients from these more reputable companies versus these newer companies that are popping up. So I finished my swatching on camera and so I'm just gonna get my next set of things ready. So I'm just opening the color um, monomer and just looking at, you know, checking it out. So it comes with six different colors and they're all one ounce each. I ended up going to eat breakfast with Babe and then we watched a movie. So this is the next day and my nails are different. But this is the clear acrylic and I'm just giving an example of how much that clear yellowed overnight. So what I'm going to do now is just soak it off with some acetone. Excuse me. And then I'm going to just show you guys what the soak off looks like. I have previously discussed if another company possibly has MMA in their monomer. And it was 
my silk off had a lot of MMA characteristics. If you guys don't know the dangers of MMA and you're using monomer, this is definitely something you should be researching. It's dangerous to have on yourself and it's also too dangerous to put on other people. It's also dangerous to inhale. Um, so it can affect you in a lot of different ways, even if you're not wearing it. And usually the characteristics of soaking off MMA monomer is it's gummy and sticky. When we're soaking off EMA monomer, it's more flaky and fluffy. So you can see how this soak off is going down here. And I'm just letting you guys see for yourself. I'm not saying anything is or isn't. Just like in the video that I did previously, I'm not saying this has MMA. What I'm saying is my soak off is giving me MMA characteristics. I feel it's very important for me to share this information because a lot of purchases are made off content that I create and other YouTubers create. Um, I feel like when you buy a product and you're not sure of it, you should test it. And it's extremely easy to test your monomer um, for MMA. And I kind of feel like it's a responsibility that I have to, if I'm unsure about something, to do my research before I get on here and share it with everyone. That does not make my videos popular. That does not make me popular. The companies that I work with, well, I don't really receive a lot of PR from a lot of people. And I think that's because I'm always on here being honest. And that's fine with me. But my whole thing is I'm always going to be honest. And, you know, on my last video where I talked about another company, I got a lot of people telling me that I should have reached out to the company first. And here's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to spend my money that I work hard for, read a label and a company tell me something does not have something in it, then I'm playing with it and testing it and it's almost evident that that is in there. So I don't owe any company anything when I feel like their marketing, their packaging is a lie. So that's my rant. <laughs> I'm very, very passionate about this. And yes, I do sell products, but my ingredients are literally what I put into my cuticle oils. It's the four ingredients and they're all listed. And I'm not going to put something in there to make my cuticle oils better that's dangerous to people to sell more anything like that. It's pretty straightforward, it is what it is. So, on this um, monomer, when I opened it, it had a fruity, sweet smell to it. And if anyone's worked with um, MMA monomer, that's one of the characteristics. So, right off the bat, I'm seeing a characteristic that I'm like, okay, let me just do my swatches and instead of doing all of the swatches of all six colors, I was I just decided just do the purple one, soak it off, and if it doesn't give me the characteristics, fine, just go ahead and move forward. And you see that I tried to do that because my initial thing was I'm swatching everything with white acrylic and clear acrylic so you can see the differences of color. So that was the plan. So now I'm just, again, soaking off an acetone, and when I pull it out of the acetone, you'll be able to see exactly what the soak off is looking like. And if you can see in the top corner of your screen, that stupid monomer literally stained my desk. So I have um, a piece of white poster board underneath, and then I have a silicone mat that's clear um, that I work on top of in case I spill something it's easy to clean up but this literally stained that I tried acetone, I tried alcohol, nothing would get it off. So I do have to go ahead and get another mat, which is not a big deal, but it's something that like kind of irritated me on top of spending my money on something and feeling like, well, spending my money on something and seeing MMA characteristics in the monomer. Um, I think it's BS for people who are just starting out and don't have that education 
or they might not know all of these things. They're just going off the label and they use certain things. But then when they go to soak it off, it's not what it is, appears to be. So at the end of the day, I am. I'm at another crossroads because I feel like I use this monomer. It said it didn't have MMA, but it clearly has more than one MMA characteristic to it by the way that it smells and by the way that it soaks off. And this is another company that I have purchased a lot of their products and reviewed a lot of times on my channel. So it's, I really don't know what to do. I know that in order for my channel to grow, I have to use a lot of different products. You guys don't wanna just come on here and see me using not polish and young nails and you know, you want to see me try different things. And obviously, I want to try different things too. But it, it, I don't know. I'm just a little frustrated. And yeah, I'm just a little frustrated. So basically, I say all of that to say when you're trying out these new companies or these smaller companies or these companies that are... Um, mostly overseas and they have different regulations definitely try and test out their their monomer liquids before you use it or put it on yourself again i'm only saying that this product has characteristics of mma i don't know if it has mma i'm only saying it has characteristics for of mma for me personally the characteristics that I see are enough for me not to use the product. Everyone can do whatever they want to do, whatever they choose to do, but I feel like the responsibility should have been with a company to, should be with a company to be honest about their ingredient, ingredients. But if we're sharing these products, we should do a little bit more research to the best of our capabilities. Um, before we promote them on our platforms, especially monomer, which is pretty much the main thing you use with acrylic um, and just all of the controversy and all of the damage it can do to someone, we definitely should be taking the few minutes to test it before we use it. So that's all I'm saying. Um, purchase this if you want, don't purchase it. I'm not telling you guys what to do. Again, I am only stating that both of these products sold separate in separate separate packaging both have characteristics of MMA. So thank you guys for listening to me rant. <laughs> I will be back again soon with another video. I always like talking to you guys, so make sure you leave me a comment in the description box below. And just like I did before, if you guys are leaving negative, ignorant comments, I'm going to block you. We can disagree. We can have a difference of opinion, but you cannot be disrespectful in my comments to me or to anybody else. You will be blocked. Um, other than that, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I'll be back soon for another video.